Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on integration by chain rule. I've done one of these before. And again, this is an IGCSE uh, additional mathematics or A level uh, type question. Uh, it's also okay for uh, high school calculus. And this says integrate uh, sine squared 3x dx. Now, what I've done here is to say let u equal to 3x. In which case, uh, du divided by dx is 3. And if you multiply both sides by dx and divide both sides by 3, we end up with du over 3 is equal to dx. So now we cannot replace our dx with du over 3 and replace 3x by u. So we now integrate a third a third coming from d over 3, a third integrate sine squared u du. Okay, now cos 2u is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared u, um, which means that 2 sine squared u is equal to 1 minus cos 2u. So sine squared u then becomes a half of 1 minus cos 2u, that is closed. So we can go ahead now and integrate uh, a half. Now the half comes from um, the half comes from there, and the third comes from d over three there. So we now need to integrate one minus cos to you, right? And that will give us one six. And if we integrate 1, you get a u, 1 6 times u minus a half times 2u there, plus an integration constant of c. If we now replace our u with 3x, okay, we then have uh, 1 6 into 3x minus a half times 2 times 3x, which is 6x. And We've got, now got an integration constant of plus capital C, which should be different from the integration constant of this one here, because that one in this line here, I'm using u instead of x, so that those two be different. Now, you can leave your answer at this, or you can decide to open up the bracket. I end up with 3x over 6, which is a half x, minus 112 sine 6x plus the integration constant of C. Now, please subscribe, and I hope all that made some sense. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye now.